Fukio Saka is one of the best prospects and most talked about footballers on the planet right now. Not only does he have enormous potential, he's also starting to ascend the footballing ranks as a genuine baller. Fresh off a very impressive Euro 2020 campaign with England, we're going to be taking over the career of Fukio Saka in FIFA 21 and seeing just how he performs in our FIFA 21 career simulation series. Where will he rank on the leaderboard? Watch and find out. But lads, if you are new around here to the channel, make sure you bloody scorpion kick that subscribe button down below on the cusp of 390,000 subscribers to help join us. Also, I wanna get your opinion. I feel like I've been doing YouTube for way too long to not have a nickname for you guys watching the videos. So leave a comment down below or tweet me or Instagram DM me, whatever. Let me know, what should I be calling you guys as a nickname? Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the FIFA 21 Career Simulations Challenge. Over the next 10 seasons, we are going to witness how a footballer's career unfolds. Players will be ranked on their performance and growth, both at club and individual levels. And the formula to determine a player's final overall score at the end of the episode is goal scored, plus assists, plus trophies won, times by growth on the base potential. For example, if a player has 87 potential and they end up getting a 90 overall, they will have times three growth. So here we are in season number one with Bukio Saka. As we can see, 18 years of age, 79 overall, and he does have 88 potential. The same potential as Yusuf Demir, but he has at an extreme advantage because he is like 11 or 12 overall higher than Demir in the last career simulation. So that's certainly gonna help him get to his potential quicker potentially, but 79 overall, 88 potential, 18 years of age at Arsenal. Let's see what the first season has in store. Also, already we are getting transfer offers in for Saka. It is from Roma, but I don't want to leave Arsenal just yet. I think it's good that we uh, stay at a mid-table club for a little bit longer. I know that comment's going to ruffle a few feathers. It's ironic that I go and give Arsenal a little bit of crap about being mid-table when the team I support, Fulham, can't even survive more than a season in the Prem. Painful. Also, there is a little bit of competition here at the right midfield position. So I'm gonna transfer this William and Nicolas Pepe and try getting them out of the club. So Nicolas Pepe has been sold to Inter Milan and we're finally sold William here. The Brazilian headed to Lille for 16.5 mil. Okay, it's an interesting start. So we've done season one with Arsenal. 19 years of age, we've played 53 games. So a lot of game time there for Buki Osaka. He's gone up to an 82 overall, which is absolutely brilliant growth for season number one, but just two goals. Eight assists is pretty nice to be fair. I guess my expectations need to change a little bit more. We're playing right midfield rather than center attacking midfield or striker. So assists are probably where we're gonna get most of the jam, but two goals, eight assists up to an 82 overall. We did finish seventh in the Premier League, however, so no trophies there. Could have got our first silverware for our career, however, but we did lose the Community Shield 3-1 to Liverpool. All right, so kicking off season number two, taking a look at what the game is showing his potential as, and it is an 88. Also, I saw a few comments in the last episode saying, how am I able to see what his potential is? When I'm playing on PC, I do have mods on the game, so I can go in and see every player's potential, every player's, all their stats, all that stuff. So that's how I'm checking that. If you play PC in your mod, you'll know what I'm talking about. I am going to look to shake things up. However, don't want to be playing for a seventh, eighth place club every single season. I want us to get as much silverware as possible. I want Bukio Sacco to have as, sex as successful a career as possible. So we're going to add him to the transfer list. Imagine the carnage if I accepted this offer. Tottenham want Buki Osaka, that would send the footballing world, especially English football, into an absolute frenzy, but we're obviously gonna reject it here. Inter Milan is a very tempting offer, which I'm going to accept 52.8 million pounds for Buki Osaka to potentially go to Inter Milan. Another Serie A club coming in here for Saka's transfer goods. We're gonna go in here, Atalanta, 53.2 million pounds has been accepted. But there it is, we're taking our talents to the San Siro as we sign with Inter Milan 
for 52.8 million pounds in season number two. And since Saka is an Inter Milan player, that means Sir Simulation is Inter Milan gaffer. Here is a look at our player at Bukio Saka in Inter Milan colors. He kind of suits the kit, to be honest. They've got their kit for this upcoming season, like the 21-22 season, is absolutely awesome. I think I'm definitely gonna have to cop it, but we do have a lot of right midfield potential, or a lot of right midfield competition. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna transfer list all of them, Politano, Hakimi, Pepe, all the guys that are really big competition for us in the starting 11. Politano has been sold to Juventus for 28.5 mil. Hakimi has gone to Man City for 74.2 million pounds. That's a massive pickup. And Nicolas Pepe, oh, he, he, he must, uh, have you guys seen that, that uh, TikTok where it's like, it's the Grim Reaper. That's what uh, Nicholas Pepe is feeling for us right now. Everywhere we go, or everywhere he goes, we just sell him. He's off to PSG, so I better make sure that I don't send Bukio Saka to PSG. Season number two has been an absolute belter here. We're at Inter Milan. We've gone up to an 85 overall already, going up plus three again this season. But those statistics, mwah, chef's kiss to that, baby. 11 goals and 16 assists. That is absolutely monumental there. This Inter Milan team absolutely wiping floor though. We do get some silverware to the name, however. We win Inter Milan a Serie A title. Unfortunately, we lost Super Copper at the start of the season. And we were eliminated to Leicester City in the round of 16 of the Champions League. Season three kicking off and I am pleased to inform you that our potential has gone up from 88 to 89 so it's good to see that the two seasons we've had have been enough to really push things forward for Bukio Yosaka big question if we manage to hit our base potential by season number three that is going to be insane because we all know with the scoring system every overall you get past your base potential is essentially a multiplier so this could be really exciting we have done it oh my god okay so season three has come to a conclusion and we've already hit our base potential of 88 this is a serious candidate to just wipe the leaderboard forever seriously like we're only two videos in two episodes into this challenge and Saka already staking a claim to not only overtake Demir, but make himself a front runner for the entire series. 10 goals, six assists, but 88 overall. Very excited to see the potential next year. But we've been unable to go back to back in Serie A, second in Serie A. But it is a super cop art to the trophy cabinet. So our second piece of silverware with Inter Milan. We've also won Coppa Italia. This is going to plan nicely. The potential has gone up again. Ladies and gentlemen, we now have 91 potential with Buki Yosaka, 88 overall. If he continues the trend of going up plus three a season, that's just gonna be, that's just gonna be ridiculous. Like, I don't wanna get too far ahead of ourselves, but we're at the start of season four now. If we continue with this momentum and these performances, we could honestly be the best player in the world by the end of this video. <laughs> Holy crap! Buki Osaka has gone up three overall again. He on next games mode and he is at 91 overall. Oh my god. Plus three overall. The multiplier already going times three. I think by this point, if we stop the career, Saka would already be higher rated than Yusuf Demir. But eight goals, which is impressive in its own right and 19 assists, holy crap. Buki Yosaka, one of the best players in the world at this point. Missing out on a Serie A title, however, by one point. And we lose again in the Supercoppa to Juventus. But at least we got our revenge in Coppa Italia. Season number five, halfway through this career simulation. Buki Yosaka, 91 overall. You can see by the status, he is one of the world's best and his potential has gone up plus one to a 92 potential. Juventus recognize the greatness. They've come in here and they want to try signing Buki Osaka, but I really want to win a Champions League with Inter Milan before we leave. So I'm going to leave that as the objective before we even think about transferring away. Also, just quietly, how cooked is this starting 11? Saka, Lukaku, Martinez, Martial, Barea, Ala, Tanali, this team, 
is just a different caliber of beast at the moment. Oh my God. Our potential was 92 at the start of this season and we've gone up to 93. Holy crap. Holy crap. We've gone up 90, it's, I mean, technically this season is a disappointment because we stopped the plus three growth, but we've gone up to a 93 overall. And for the first time in this simulation, we've scored more goals than assists. We've got 12 goals, 10 assists, Buki Yosaka, holy crap. Also, honestly, five star, five star right now, like, this dude's cooked. We have added another Serie A title to our trophy cabinet, however, finishing to, uh, not 12, that's nine points clear. No, that's eight points clear, sorry. Drop math in year 10 at high school and it's definitely showing today. Domestic double as we take down Juventus to win Super Coppa. Domestic treble as we take down Juventus again to win Coppa Italia. Quad! We've done the quad. We've won the Champions League. 3-1 over Dortmund. Holy crap, this this is this has just been insane. I mean, we're just absolutely killing it. Player of the month in May as well. Saka's career is living up to all the hype and more. This is interesting. So here we are, age 23, still very young. Like we're in season number six, man's 23, 93 overall, but the potential hasn't moved. We stay with a 93 potential, which is interesting. Hopefully we do what we did last season. That's X to exceed the potential and grow up to a 94 because we've got time on our side to seriously get to the high 90s. But at the moment, 93 overall with Buki Osaka. I said I wanted to leave it until we won a Champions League. We've won the Champions League. Let's go see if we can find a new adventure. Gonna have to be a very select amount of clubs though with the 172 million pound value we possess. Also, this happened at the end of last season, but it's still showing up in the club news section. That just shows how dominant our team is. All four players nominated for the player of the month in Serie A are into players. Yep, this is one of the clubs I was thinking about when I thought a big club's gonna have to spend some cash. Barcelona, they are coming in here. 216.1 million pounds for Saka, which I am going to accept. See if we can get him to the Catalonian Giants, get him to La Liga. Let's accept. And just like that, we are headed to the Camp Nou. Barcelona have signed Bukio Saka which means Sir Simulation will be joining as well. There we go, contract accepted. Sorry to whoever just lost their job. So here's a look at Bukio Saka for the first time in Barcelona colors, 23 years of age, 93 overall. This is just absolutely ridiculous. I'd be worried about our starting 11 position, but we literally are the best player in the team and one of the best in the world at this point. So don't have to worry about selling off people. I mean, you look at this starting 11, it is decent, it's not as strong, I would say, as our inter side, but there's still some big players. Frankie de Jong killing it. Ansu Fati, Gabriel Jesus, Ter Stegen, Koundé. Very interested to see if we can repeat the success that we had at Inter Milan in La Liga. So we haven't gone up any overall in our first season at Barcelona. 93 overall at age 24. Five goals is okay. 15 assists, though, is still very, very good. So... Hopefully the dynamic player potential kicks back in. I just want to get some momentum because we're starting to run out of seasons and I want to see just how close we can get Saka to a potential 98-99 rating. No La Liga title here in season one at Barcelona, however, Atletico Madrid winning that. But we have got our first silverware as a Barcelona player as we take down Atletico Madrid to win Super Copa. Whilst we lose to Atletico Madrid to lose the Copa de España final, so... It's really been a two horse race in Spanish football this season. Again, we kick off season seven and the potential stays at a 93. This is a massive season. We need big performances on the park. We need to get the momentum ball rolling again because maybe FIFA's just said, nope, that's it for you, Buki Osaka. You're one of the best, world's best players, but there's no more growth for you. We need a statement season. I want to get some growth. Come on, Saka. Get them roids in here, bruh. Also, I've taken it on my own back to get some good signings into the side. Harlan's in there, so hopefully we can feed him a few more assists. Need uh, got and got Joe Gomez as well for the back line, so hopefully this makes us more of a contender this season. Oh, that's not the season we were after. Eight goals is nice, but only six assists, and at age 25, starting to get close to entering our prime. 
we have remained at a 93 overall. This is disappointing. This is concerning. I want that multiplier to go crazy. At least we add another trophy to the trophy cabinet as we win La Liga comfortably here with Barcelona. We've also done the domestic double. We win Copa de España over Ibar. And we've also won our second Champions League title of our career as we take down Bayern Munich to win the Champions League. We've done the treble with Barca. Come on, good to see some success, some success on the path. Mate. <laughs> The potential is still 93 as we kick off this eighth season. Running out of time, 25 years of age. We've only got three seasons left, including this one. We, okay, I mean like, the 99 dream might be out the picture. It might be out the window. This needs to be a monstrous season. Come on, Saka, put your back into it. Show us what you can do. Okay, okay. Okay, maybe hope is not lost. We have gone up two overall here to 95 overall. Six goals, 17 assists. We're back, baby. We're absolutely back. Haaland as well got 40 goals. What the hell? But we've gone up plus two overall here with Buki Osaka. 95 overall. Very interested to see what the potential is looking like in season nine. It is another La Liga title here, however, with Barcelona. Love to see it. The trophy, we've had a very successful career in terms of trophies, haven't we? Unfortunately, though, lost Super Copa to Real Madrid at the start of the season. Also lost Copa de España to Real Madrid. Also lost the UEFA Super Cup to Liverpool. That's a pain. And pff, Wolves. Wolves have won the Champions League. Wolves have done their own rebuild and have taken down Atletico Madrid to win the bloody Champions League. What? We actually lost to our old club into Milan in the quarterfinals 2-1 though. The potential has gone up, lads. We have gone up to a 96 potential here in season number nine, age 26. The hope is on. I mean, all I want is that plus three upgrade. 95 overall would make us the best player in the world at this point, surely, but I want more. Haaland's just behind us as well. I just realized Haaland's 94 overall. That is. That's cool. However, I want one last challenge for our career. I want one last move. We've done it all in La Liga with Barcelona. Let's go see who can come in for us and get another challenge. Oh my God. Real Madrid have come in and have activated our release clause of 356.7 million pounds. This would cause absolute riots. This is like, was it Luis Figo that went from Barca to Real Madrid and had the pig's head thrown on the field? Like, Buki Osaka, if this goes through, would not be the first player to jump from Real Madrid or Real Madrid, or from Real Madrid to Barca or Barca to Real Madrid, but this would cause some absolute chaos, especially given he's one of the world's best players, if not the best player in the world at this point. Oh my God. It has actually happened, lads. Buki Osaka is now a Real Madrid player, jumping the lines of El Clasico and going to see whether we can conquer Spanish football with Real Madrid. And that means I'm doing the same thing, Sir Simulation off to Real Madrid. So here's a look at Buki Osaka in the all white of Real Madrid. A big, big season ahead of us. What a pickup that is there for Real Madrid. I'm so excited to see what we can do as a Galactico. Also, just a little look at our squad. It's quite interesting that they've gone even and even signed us. I mean, yeah, we are a plus seven upgrade, but they already had Kubo and Rodrigo in that right midfield spot. So big upgrade, but still not necessarily where they needed it. We are at a weaker side than Barcelona at the moment, but this team is still pretty cool. It certainly is a double-edged sword in this season. We have had an okay season on the park, an okay start to life for Real Madrid. Seven goals, six assists, but most importantly, Buki Osaka has gone up to a 96 overall. He has gone up plus eight at the moment compared to his base potential. And with one season remaining, it would be absolutely astonishing if Buki Osaka was able to go up plus 10 from his initial base potential. That would be cool. We have unfortunately finished second in La Liga with Real Madrid. Barcelona, Barcelona almost going invincible and Centurion. And unfortunately we have lost a Madrid derby in the Champions League quarters. You know what? I'm gonna give our boy a little bit of a, a little bit of a pay rise. 810,000 pounds a week. There you go, that's, 
just a little bit of money, you know, nothing, nothing too wild. But here we go, one more season remains in the career of Bukio Saka. Let's see if we can make it a special one. The last dance begins. So here we are, finally season number 10, one of the best careers we will ever see in this series. 96 overall with 96 potential at the moment. But the big question, is there a little bit of growth left in Bukio Saka in this 10th season at Real Madrid? Can we get ourselves up to a 99? Can we get past 96? We're about to find out. Unfortunately, we are not going to win La Liga with Real Madrid. We're not gonna win Super Copa with Real Madrid, nor are we gonna win the Champions League with Real Madrid. So we have not won a single piece of silverware at the Santiago Bernabeu. But most importantly, the stats for this 10th and final season, 12 goals, 12 assists, a very respectable end to the simulation. 96 overall. Now let's go take a look at the scoreboard. Ladies and gentlemen, we have a new leader as Bukio Saka has absolutely blown Yusuf Demir out of the park despite finishing with 10 less goals than Demir. Saka has scored 81 goals, 115 assists. He won 13 trophies in his career, but here is the big one. Because he had such incredible growth, eight overall growth past his base potential, Bukio Saka finishes with a final score of 1,672. This may be almost impossible to beat in the entirety of the series. Bukio Saka, take a bow. You've absolutely wiped the floor, especially against Yusuf Demir. So lads, that is going to conclude what has been an absolutely phenomenal career simulation. Let me know whose career you want us to simulate or re-simulate in the next one. Absolutely having a blast making these videos. If you enjoyed the video, leave a like on the video. Subscribe down below if you're new around here. I'll see you for the next one very soon. It's been Jared HD here. I'm out. Peace.